Hi everyone, haven't done a video for a while because I've been out of action, I'll tell you why. Um, it's very cold in here today so I've got all the scruffy old stuff on, keep nice and warm. So, <clears throat> I've been looking for, uh, as always I'm trying to find new and improved ways of making stuff so I was trying to find a way of um, scalloping out the handles for my pyramid bows and I thought I'd have a go at using a router. So, just practicing, lost concentration for a nanosecond, and uh, try to cut the tip of my finger off. So, what I did, <coughs> pulled my finger into the router, it's completely chomped up the top of my finger, broke the bone. Um, so off to A&E or the emergency room, depending what country you're in. So they had to remove the top of the bone and sew it all back together again as best they could. So I've only lost probably about half a centimetre off the top of the finger. So, you know, very lucky, pretty good going. Um, but man, it's slowing me down because it's still quite sensitive. It's like 10 days ago that I did it and a bit longer than that now. So we've got a hard got a hard cover on there to protect it but it's still difficult holding tools so well, I'm getting there I'll get there slowly but surely so I'm slow at the moment but I thought I'd share with you some other things that I'm working on as well so um, I'm liaising with various people in America and other places and they're all talking about um, paddle bows and mere heath bows so I thought I'd have a go so the um, this is the mere heath bow. Whoops, this is a mere heath bow. So this design is a very strange design. So you've got a very narrow handle and it just stays wide for a long, long way until it tapers to the tips. Um, it's a big debate as to whether these bows actually worked in prehistoric times. The only ones that have been found were broken, and the handle, surprisingly. So what I'm doing with this is I've built up the handle quite a bit with some IP, so I'm gonna tail it down, they call it like a keel, the bottom of the boat. So I'm going to have a big keel on the bottom of this. Tape it very, very gently, gradually into the tips. And then I've got to get all of this really, I mean that's still, you know, a centimetre and a half thick. That's got to be, you know, that's got to come down a lot on the band so I'll just bring it back down again. So this is work in progress at the moment. It should be very interesting to see what it's like to shoot, because it's going to have a lot of mass in the tips. So, you know, it's not just an overlay, it's a blink and great big paddle. So we'll, we'll see. So that's, that's what I would call a real paddle bow. <laughs> I mean, I've used the design specs for this. To have a go, I'm gonna go building a normal paddle bow as well. So this is the, so I've taken, I've tapered it more longitudinally. So this is what's gonna be on, I haven't built up the handle yet. So I'm gonna build up the handle in the same way, probably using the same timber because I've got them lying around. And then we'll get this chat going. We'll um, chuck the back, and we'll see where we go with it. They're, they're supposed to be very, very fast shooting. I don't know if they'll be any faster than a pyramid bow, but we'll, we'll see. So those are two bows I'm in the process of, of doing at the moment. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. So website still going on, still trying to get that all done. Um, I've got someone to do photos for me for that, but again, I'm in the process of trying to make the bows for the website, for the photos. Uh, so again, this is slowing me down. So I'm hoping to have a new website up and running by um, the end of February, whether it will or not, I don't really know. So I just thought I'd keep you in the loop of what I'm up to, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks.